Hey you guys, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We're gonna be talking about Pumpkin and Josh and despite the fact that Josh told me that I better not talk about him or he would get in touch with his friends at YouTube and have my channel taken down, still gonna talk about him. Um, So word on the curb is that Josh cheated on Pumpkin and they are split up and um, we're gonna talk about it. So let's go, go ahead and roll the intro and. Be forewarned, I can't talk today. I don't know what it is, you guys, but I've been tripping over my words all freaking day. So let's go ahead, let's roll the intro, give YouTube time to send out, send out the notifications, and then we're going to talk about it. All right, you guys. So, what is going on? Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's get into it. They have been married. They got married when she was about 18 years old, from my understanding. What's going on here? Okay, right there. They've been married since she was about 18 years old, and they had one wedding on the show in Vegas, which was not a real wedding. That was just for the cameras. That was fake. Everything about their lives that we see on the show, in my opinion, is fake. The houses. The, the the weddings, um, phone calls, all of that is basically fake. And we are getting to see the real people behind the show if you watch TikTok, basically. So anyways, Pumpkin, this is where this rumor started, okay? Pumpkin has done actually several TikToks like this that would make one believe, like, wait, who is she talking to? Like, what is she talking about? Like, she'll do little dances to songs to talk about being the new girlfriend or the, or, you know, we, crazy things like that, that have some people saying like, wait, are they split up? What happened? So she posted this on her TikTok the other day. This is literally what got the rumor started, you guys. This TikTok right here. Um, and it says she's probably the ugly, ugly ex. And then it shows her, you know, with her hair nice and washed and crinkled up. And um, <laughs> somebody caught her out for the one fingernail. Somebody was like, hold up. If all my fingernails had already fell off and I'm only working with the thumb, I ripped the other ones off, right? I'm like, oh, wow. She only really does have that one thumbnail, but whatever. Uh, maybe she couldn't get it off because acrylic nails are hard to get off. Anyways, that's what started this rumor that maybe they were split up, right? And then it went crazy. It went from, wait, are they split up? To yes, I heard they were split up. I heard that he cheated. Oh, he cheated. They're split up. He's not there anymore. He's going to have to pay child support, but he doesn't have a job. The whole conversation like went on, like where it just built, 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 right? And I'm like, did they really? Like, what? Did they really split up? So, of course, she goes live on her TikTok like later that night. And a lot of people in the comment section are asking like, Hold up, do you and Josh split up? What's the deal with you and Josh? Then people start bringing up the fact that they heard that Josh cheated on her. So Josh is there, apparently. They're not split up. They're not split up. Um, she says, oh, Josh. So apparently we're split up because you cheated on me. Josh yells and tells everyone that's spreading that rumor that they get suck. A fat baby's B-I-C-K. That was his response. I got messaged probably 10 times. Are you watching this? Did you watch it? Did you see what he said? He told people to suck a fat baby's... You know what? Like, how inappropriate. And I'm like, I would like to say that I'm shocked that that was his response. But I'm not. I'm, I'm, it's very inappropriate to talk about, yes, his response to yell from somewhere else in the house when she brought it to, he said, oh, Josh, so the rumor is that you left me because you were cheating on me, that we're split up because you cheated on me. And he said, y'all can all suck a fat baby's I don't know. I know this family, you know, 
a lot of times when I talk about this family, it's like, well, remember where they came from. You know, like they have Mama June that raised them. Like, come on. Like, what can you really expect? They're not going to do any better. And I'm like, you know, I do have an issue with that. With You know, it was like, oh, well, they were raised Mama, Mama June. What do you expect? They're not going to do any better. But they know that the way Mama June raised them is not okay because they talk about it all the time. They discuss it. She discusses it on podcast. She discusses it on the show about how Mama June did not raise them correctly. And they have a lot of trauma over that. And like when they did the podcast on um, Dumb Blonde Podcast, Bunny said, like, do, do y'all go to therapy? Like, y'all should do therapy. And Alana was like, no, because I don't trust people. Like, here's the thing. They are on WeTV, who has given them the opportunity to work with some really good therapists. But they really kind of choose not to. You know what I'm saying? So they have the ability to have, they have access. Like, they have things at, at, at the palm of their hand to have to go to therapy and to go to counseling and to do all these things to do better for themselves. So when people say, oh, well, you know, that's Mama June. How, how, do, you, how do you expect it to be any better? You should know better. And they're young. Cut them some slack. But they are very much aware. And that's why, in my opinion, that's why the show, the people that we see, the Pumpkin, the Josh, the Alana, that we see on the show, on Mama June, on WeTV, is vastly different from the people that we see on TikTok. I think they know on a larger platform like television, they have to be on their best behavior. Here's the thing. If Pumpkin and Josh and Alana acted the way they do in real life, the way they do on the show, I would still be like huge fans of them. So it's like, I think they do know better and that's why they act better on the show. Um, I think the show probably has them do better as well. So they know, you know, to talk to people the way that they do, that it's not okay. They know to curse people the way that they do is not okay. They know all that. And every, I agree, everyone could benefit from therapy. I wonder how much of those sessions with Dr. Ish were scripted and not real. It's hard to say at this point because so much is fake. Like I am learning so much from that show is fake. Yeah, they are adults. Like I get it. You know, I get it. She is like 22, 23 years old, and she does have, um, she has Ella, she has Bentley, and then she has the twins. Four kids. So she has four kids under five years old, from my understanding, which is a lot. It is a lot. But she also had Alana there living with her that could help her. She had, you know, Josh, who doesn't really work, that helps her. Josh's mom, from my understanding, is a big help to the, and then I saw somebody say like, oh, well, they weren't raised any better than that. From what I've been told about Josh's family, they are very good people. And Josh Josh was raised better than that. Like his raising is a lot better than Pumpkin's raising. Um, so I always really like Josh. I really like Pumpkin. I literally sang their praises for so long. And then seeing them on TikTok really opened my eyes to the fact that we were being played on TV and that this is not who they were. Yes, Alana does not live there from my understanding. Thank you, Vixen. Um, so uh, she had Alana there to help her, but Alana does not live there anymore. And it really, I wonder why Alana moved. Did she move just so she could live with her boyfriend? Because at first, it was said that she moved in with Jessica. Now, alleged, allegedly, she lives with Draylen. Okay, so... I'll answer that in just a second, Casey, Casey, because, uh, so, um, crap, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so, what it was, was she was living with Pumpkin and Josh, and they were getting the child support for her, right? Then she moved in with Jessica, and allegedly now she lives with Draylen, and she's been living with Draylen for some months now, right? Well, my question is, is she getting the child support? Is it going to her now? Is Pumpkin saying, here's the child support for you to tend to yourself because you don't live with us anymore? Um, also, when I heard Josh in the background on a TikTok stream not too long ago, it really made me wonder if his behavior is a part of the reason why she left. So they were doing a TikTok live where um, Josh was frustrated because he was having a help. And... 
she's got baskets everywhere. She's like, here, put that in that basket. Give me seven size basket. And he is getting frustrated because it's midnight. Um, he's probably been tending to the kids all day and all night the night before. I don't know, but he's getting frustrated. And she says like, oh my God, it's not a big deal. Like you can help me, you know? And he literally is like, you know what? It ain't my effing job. It's not called Pumpkin and Josh's closet. It's called the sister's closet. So where's your effing sister? Alana will be 18 in August. So he's like, you need to get your effing sister over here. Where is she? Like it ain't called a lot. It ain't called Josh and Pumpkin's closet. It's called the sister's closet. And I'm, I'm, I'm not your sister. And she was finally like, you know what? If you're going to have that attitude, you can go in there. I'll do it myself. And she says, Alana's in the chat. You know, so a lot of us in the chat, chat modding from wherever it is that she lives. Um, and she was there doing everything herself. And she was, you know, trying to get Josh to help her, which she was getting frustrated because it is chaotic. I mean, it's very chaotic. She got baskets all over the floor. If the kids are awake, they're trying to get into them, you know. And so Josh was frustrated that he was having to help. And he made that known. And when I watched that, him getting very frustrated, and had no like qualms about calling Alana out as well. Like, this isn't m me. This is y'all. Where the heck is she at? He was like, she needs to get her over here and do it. And she was in the chat. And I noticed that Alana stopped speaking in the chat. She may have continued modding and, and um, pinning comments because comments did continue to get pinned and things such as that. But like before, she was commenting in the chat, talking to people you know, um, asking questions, answering questions. But when Josh made that comment, I did not see her make another comment in the chat. So it made me wonder, I wonder if Josh is like, has this attitude and gets this way from time to time. And maybe that has something to do with why she moved out maybe. Yeah, so if she goes to college, from my understanding, they could continue. Mama June could continue paying child support if she goes to college and she's allegedly going to go to college. Um, so that was the TikTok that started it all, you guys. I will say, if you go to her TikTok, though, there's several TikToks that would lead you to believe, like, who is she talking to? Because when when I first heard, like, hey, they might be split up and it might be because he cheated, I went to her TikToks. I'm like, let me see if there's anything posted. Let me see if I can find anything. Let me see if I can find anything. So I went to look in and I was like, you know what? There are some TikToks that she has posted that would make one believe that maybe she is talking to somebody out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and this one was, po <laughs> this one was posted. Um, the last one that she posted was this one. Hold on. I don't record for 15 seconds, but here's me taking the goddamn track. Can y'all hear it? Hold on. I'm going to have to remove it. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. So when I heard that it was possible that they were split up, you know, I run to TikTok, see what I can find. And this was the last TikTok that she had put up. Let me show y'all. I don't know why the audio doesn't work sometimes. I swear. Y'all, honestly, if I wanted to do pumpkin videos every day, I really could. But, you know, they're like, oh, you're obsessed. It's like, really, I'm not. But y'all make it easy for me to have content. Like, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can fix it. All right, I'm just going to put it up to the mic. And you guys tell me if you can hear it. Let me know if y'all can hear it because for some reason the audio is not going to work today. How like that? I'm going to say this real fast because I know it only records for 15 seconds, but here's me taking the goddamn trash out, motherfucker. Watch it one more time, just for 
just for fun. How like that? I'm gonna say this real fast because I know it only records for 15 seconds, but here's me taking the goddamn trash out, motherfucker. Thank you so much. Yes, I need to go fix that. Thank you for letting me know that, Casey. Um, okay, so Christina says, child support stops at 18 in Georgia college or not. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. I know in some places, if you go to college, you can continue child support. It doesn't look like they live in anything super ritzy. The Airbnb might have a better look than the actual house. Um, so when I saw that, like, so I get an email and it's like, hey, it looks like Pongan and Josh may have split up because he cheated. I'm like, wait, what? I run over to Reddit. I'm reading the comments of what people say. I run over to her TikTok. And this is the last thing that I see. And I'm like, looks like she, there, and even Shaw's like, there's some anger in her voice over something. E either she's really that upset over having to do the trash, or there's something else going on here that she's just not being, you know, upfront about. And I'm like, maybe so. And there were a few other ones. Oh, um, and I know a lot of these are just to like songs that the TikTok trends, like, oh, I'm not a pick me. B-I-C-C-H. And then I see where she's like doing some of these TikToks like in her bathing suit on the front porch. And I'm like, I wonder how a husband would feel. I guess some husbands don't care. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just know like my husband, if I jumped on TikTok in my bathing suit, he would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And I wouldn't do it though because I would just feel like this body's for my man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not about to plaster it all over TikTok just to get a few more views, you know? Um, either way, his response, because she did bring it to his attention when they were live, and his response was, well, everybody that thinks that can go suck a fat baby's DSEK, which is very inappropriate. Thank you, Jay Marie. I'm still trying to digest all of that because it's a lot. Like, the, the series, there's so much to it, and I'm like, I don't even know how to go about it. Like how to go about breaking it down, honestly. Um, whatever happened happened to Dr. Ish, was that his name? Yes, his name is Dr. Ish and he's still around. Um, I have a feeling we'll see him in future episodes. Yeah, they sure talk different on the show than in real life. It is disturbing, it's really wild. Where's Savannah's comment? Um, so according to them, he has been at the house. He has been at the house. So I don't think they're split up. I guess that was just a TikTok trend that she was trying to do. Um, they really got people, you know, uh, uh, talking, you know, and then his response to it was, once again, was so disgusting. His response to that was disgusting. They also go to my cousin's husband's tattoo shop, Jolly Roger. She said Honey Boo Boo goes in as high as a kite. So I heard that as well, Savannah. Um, I actually heard, and this is all what I've heard um, from someone that lives in Georgia. Um, okay, so allegedly, allegedly, I've never been seeing any proof of this. This is just, Somebody that lives in Georgia has said that um, they do smoke weed, which whatever, and that their house is a house that's like known for it. And if people want to buy it, they go there to buy it. I don't know. I, I don't know. How and what though, cannabis? Um, yeah, they are big pot smokers from my understanding. And some of these TikToks that she does, you can tell. Like, Josh is hot as a kite in some of them. Let's see. Let me find. Hmm. 
me see if I can find the one that they did. I feel like it wasn't that long ago. And everybody was like, whoa, he is high. Um, oh, here it is. Bussin' Snack Review. Bussin' hey, Snack Review. We got our order from Bussin' Snack. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. So we have uh, Fanta Jasmine Peach, Lay's Thick Cut Steak Flavor, Doritos Late Night Oven Roasted Chicken, Spicy Doritos Taco Flavors, Hershey's Cookies and Cream Crepe, Oreo Blueberry Ice Cream Flavors, Oreo Cake Soft Strawberries, um, Kit Kat Filled Smooth Hazelnut Flavor, Limited Edition Snickers Coconut Flavor, Limited Edition Snickers. Y'all can hear it. And then Skittles Mixed Fruit Tea. Can y'all so hear it? it? So they were sent snacks to. Try out on TikTok uh, and review. Okay. Oh, y'all can hear it. Okay, great. It smells right. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. These are the oven roasted chicken ones. These are what these are. Mm. They smell like chicken, like ramen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. Damn, it's good. All right, this is what I'm freaking most excited about right here. These Hershey's cookies and cream filled crepes. Crepes are my absolute favorite. All right, I got one for me and one for So me. everybody feels like Josh is probably. See, Philip says that Josh is fried. Uh, hubby just begging for a snack. Uh, I still see people asking, like, did y'all move? And I'm like, that news has been out for so long that they don't live there. Um, where's all the comments about him being high? Several of them were. Like, several of the comments were like, oh, yeah, you could tell he's on, like, you could tell he's high, you know? Oh, he's got the munchies. Um, oh, Josh is high as a kite right there. Josh. Hmm. Hmm. Really good. I bet you'd be better one up. I bet you that's what we recommend. Um. Mm. Okay. I love crepes. All right, next we have the Snickers coconut. Yeah. Um. So I love coconut. this person said, "I just want y'all in my circle, lappy face, green heart, cloud of smoke, and some leaves." So I think she's saying, like, you know. Am I like smoke circle or something? Like I said, whatever. I think it may be illegal in Georgia. Can anybody clarify if it's illegal in Georgia or if it's legal? So if it's illegal, then um, they probably shouldn't be doing it. Um, if it's legal, then whatever. I just hope they're not doing it in front of their children. They have money for weed, tats, while selling pens for 10 bucks and begging for money and not on my dime. Kimberly, that is a lot of people's opinion of it. Yeah, that's kind of my opinion. And you know what? Here's the thing. I would I would buy some of her pants if she was nice. If I would have never caught her on TikTok cursing people out and telling people to wash their stinky vaginas um, and making all the nasty comments that they make to people just because they don't agree with the comments that somebody makes. Like the people, you know, correcting her on the car seat situation. Oh, my God. The way she went at them. Mind your business. Your mom's shaming. la di da di da la di da di da I can't with that. I, I can't. Here's the thing. We are all, everybody should be, um, move my mic back. It's back to me. Everybody should be open to a little bit of crit criticism. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt. And especially if it's for the safety of your children or for the betterment of you. Like when people leave me comments on my channel and they say things about what, what I can do to improve my channel. I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, the other day, somebody left me a comment was like, hey, will you say this person's name? It sounds like you're saying this person's name. And I got confused. 
so can you just say their name slower? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Because I wouldn't want to be saying something about this person and people mistake it as I'm talking about this other person. I get comments all the time about you're talking too fast. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I apologize. I'll try to slow it down. When I remember, I do try to slow it down. Um, You know, if somebody told me like, oh, that's dangerous for your kids. You shouldn't do that. I'm like, oh, dang. Okay, my bad. Um, So you got to take the good with the bad. And that's my thing is I've had this YouTube channel for like almost four years now. And I've literally, like I said, sang their praises. Talked about how great they were, how mature they were, how they were the best people in the world for taking Alana in and doing the right thing and la-di-da-da-da. And come to find out, so much of what we watched was fake. Was fake. So much of like, you know, them putting their foot down with Mama June back in the day um, with her and Gino. That was, a lot of that was fake. Um, They still had a relationship when, you know, the episode where it was like, oh, they were first going to see Mama June for the first time in a while. And she said, but don't bring Sorry. <laughs> yes, I'll slow down. They said, but don't bring Gino because we don't want to talk to Gino. And they were at a park and she brought like um, Alana and Ella, I think. And then Gino like rolls up. was like, hey, pumpkin. And she's like, what the is he doing here? That was all set up. They were all getting along. They had hung out right before that. Allegedly smoked the doobie before it. So, I mean. I don't even know when it comes to the show and my take on them and what I thought I knew about them is not what I know about them. Um, so the people that I liked so much is not really those people. And if you look on TikTok and you watch them for a while, you'll see they curse at their, oh my gosh. I mean, if you go to Reddit, it shows so many clips of them just cursing their followers. And let's see. I mean, this one right here, I started to do a video on this one, but I'm kind of iffy about that one. Pumpkin's mask slipped in the latest episode. The way she went on disparaging Anna for not being there for June, yet she was invited to the bridal shower was so gross. She kept saying, where is Anna when you, June, were going through your drug problem and things like that? Anna had a legitimate reason to stay the hell away from June, who continued to date the man that essayed Anna. The fact that Pumpkin was so insulted and mad about Anna not being around, but she went to the bridal shower really shows her true colors. It sounded like she was blaming Anna for keeping her distance, which is pretty low of Pumpkin. Did anyone else pick up on this? I feel so bad for Anna. Even June was using her only to impress Justin's family. It was never about repairing her relationship with any of the girls. It was once again about a man. Most of these people really make me sick. On the show, they really try to portray Pumpkin as a saint, which we... Which we all know the truth, but it was surprising they sh but it was surprising they showed a glimpse of the not so good pumpkin last night. Which I thought when I saw that as well, I was like, geez. Because when they find out that Anna went to the bridal shower, she was like, What? Anna hasn't been there through all of this. Anna hasn't been there for this and been there for that and been there for this. Exactly. You don't bite the hands of exactly. So I thought that was really like of course, Anna wouldn't be there. Why would she? June started dating the man that SA'd Anna right after he got out of prison. So, and then, I don't know, like the whole family lied about it. And like, June lied about the fact that she was with Mark McDaniel. June said that the photos were photoshopped. Uh, Pumpkin also said, nope, we weren't with Mark McDaniel. Those are fake photos. You know, so June had her children lie about it. And then come to find out, you guys, on this Reddit post, this is, and this is why I don't know. Okay. Pumpkin has also said she doesn't know the truth about the man who essayed Anna, implying she doesn't believe her. However, court documents state, court documents state that not, that Anna was essayed several times 
by Mark McDaniel in June's bed while June was going to work. And there was one time where it happened in front of Pumpkin. Pumpkin was in the bed as well and witnessed this. Now, Pumpkin was younger. So I'm just like, I don't know. I can't make sense of that. Like, you're, you're a small child. You see your, you know, stepdad type figure molest your little, you know, your sister who's a little bit older. And then when she tells, um, your mom doesn't believe her. They become estranged. He goes to prison. And then we get, he gets out of prison. They link back up and everybody's happy, hunky dory. The thing about it is, though, is at that time, Pumpkin thought that was her dad. Mama June told Pumpkin that her dad was Mark McDaniel. So when he got out of prison and he was hanging around, from my understanding, she still thought this man was her dad. And it was sometime later that she found out that he was not her father. But she, right along with Mama June, was like, oh, no, no, that didn't happen. We wasn't with him. Th those photos are photoshopped. And that's what caused Here Comes Honey Boo Boo to be canceled. Here Comes Honey Boo Boo was canceled because of the photos of Mama June and Mark McDaniel. And we'll look at them really quickly. And you guys can tell me if you think they're Photoshop. And I can tell y'all, as someone that edits photos and, and takes people out of photos and puts people in photos together, when you do that for a while, you can pretty much tell because you can pick up on certain things, right? Okay, so here's some of the photos of Mama June and Mark McDaniel. Keep in mind, these photos came out and here comes Honey Boo Boo was canceled. Y'all want to know where this, where they're at in this house right here? What house that is? That is the house that Mama June lived in when Mama June from Not to Hot premiered. So tell me how. They have photos of Mama June and Mark McDaniel on their hiatus from Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. These photos of them surfaced looking at cars, looking at houses, laid up in a hotel room. She's like, no, those were photoshopped. We really weren't there. We really weren't there. Those are photoshopped. Um, some, those were photoshopped. We weren't together. We weren't together. And then when the show comes back on, the house that she lives in is the very house that those photos were shot at. So here they are here, Mark McDaniel and Mama June getting out at the house. Here they are in the house. And let me tell you right now, I can tell you almost as a professional, this is not a Photoshop photo because the way, okay, y'all see his legs down here. If he was just placed on the top of the stairs, his legs would have, he would, his legs would have had to been taken off to put there. The way the carpet kind of raises up a little bit. No, I don't believe it for a second. You can kind of see her thumb kind of coming off the side of his pants. Um, no, I don't think for a second this is photoshopped. Here they are here where, um, I think she even come out later on to say that this one was a real photo. That this photo was real, that he just went with her to look look at this house, that there was nothing to get. She said, Dr. Phil says, well, y'all were holding hands in this photo, right? She said, no, 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 we weren't holding hands in this photo. No. So I think the only photo that she continued to say was Photoshopped was the one of them in bed. That's the one that she continued to say, oh, that one really was Photoshopped. We never really were in bed together. Here they are. So here's Pumpkin right here with the uh, the basketball shorts on a blue shirt. That's Pumpkin. Alana is at the front door over here. And this when they were being shown the house. That's Josh getting out of the SUV. And she believes, Pumpkin believes that Mark McDaniel is her dad, right? So when it, word comes out that they're hanging out, everybody lies. No, 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 not true, not true, not true, not true, not true. We weren't hanging out with him. Then on Dr. Phil, I think that's when she admitted that some of the photos were real, but the one of them in bed together was actually photoshopped. So it came out that they were all lying. So 
So was that the real house back then? Yes. Mama June went on to buy this house. And when they first started Mama June from Night to Hot, it was filmed at this house. So here's the photo of them in bed together that she says is photoshopped. But you can see his arm hair kind of, so I don't think it's photoshopped at all. Because when you photoshop something, it takes like the surface off. So like arm hair would be like taken off. You're only going to have like the arm. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, when you photoshop something, um, Pumpkin's dad, Pumpkin has the same dad as Jesse, I think. And he is in prison as well. She talked about this on a TikTok live not too long ago. Um, he's been in prison for like 16 years for something like CP, like child, something along those lines. Um, he has reached out through like family members before and said like, oh, when I get out, you know, I'm going to be a dad. I think he is up to get out like within the next like five or six years or so. But she thought that her dad was Mark McDaniel for a while until it came out that he wasn't. But when Mama June lied, Pumpkin lied as well. And you know who had hurt? Anna. Because here Anna is finding out that her mom is hanging out with Mark McDaniel, the man that molested her. And then her whole family denies it. So, yeah. Um, sorry. Sorry, um, Jennifer. We just kind of went over what we were talking about early, and I just kind of went into this and how the family is fake my opinion and everything that we see on the show is fake um so yeah but jennifer you're okay um but they are still together they are still together even if it's legal i'm not sure if it's the same as selling out of your home they're buying at a dispensary true and that's just what was said okay that is alleged that's what was said i think it's even on reddit um, I think I've even seen it on Reddit as well. Yeah, if y'all go to Reddit, Mama June from Not to Hot, there's so much stuff on there. I'm telling you, it's wild. Any, is there any new Sugar Bear updates? Well, he said he wants to do a interview, like video interview. And I know the last interview that we did, it was very hard to understand him. So I don't know if maybe a, a video interview would be better. If maybe you guys could understand him better. I, I don't know. Um, all reality shows are fake, pretty much, apparently. I mean, way fake. Because I thought, oh, but sure, there, surely there's some parts that are real, right? But no. <laughs> I don't think so. Just like, um, you know, Justin's family's getting a lot of heat for being, like, fans. And, like, fanatically, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God, I thought we were going to meet Honey Boo Boo. I'm like, is that even real, though? Or did production put them up to that? Did production tell them to do that? Because a lot of people... Um, okay, y'all knew they were trash. Why act surprised? Actually, so here's the thing. Is, yes, I knew growing up, like when I used to watch Tyler's and Tears, Here Come Honey Boo Boo, it wasn't the best. But I thought Pumpkin and Josh were going to do better. I thought they were breaking the cycle. I thought, okay, Mama June was, you know, putting men before her children, doing drugs and all of this, right? When Pumpkin got older, and yes, she started dating somebody a little older than her. Yes, she still got pregnant early. But she got her apartment and she took Alana in. Then I was like, oh, she's going to break this cycle, though. Oh, yes. I knew that it, some of it was trashy. I still had no idea that they spoke to people the way that they did or that they lied really the way that I am finding out now. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know to this extent and I didn't, I thought Pumpkin and Josh were going to do better. So I was surprised. Sugar Bear just did a YouTube video on According to Amber. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, he messages me all the time. Like, I think I probably have a message from him right now, honestly. Yeah. Somewhat. He said somewhat. 
Um, so we talk a lot. Um, he has a lot of things going on in his life. And you know. The trashy side brings the views. I guess that's true. Um, but anyways, you guys, so they are not split up. If you see that rumor out there, now you know the truth. And his response to it was quite disgusting. I didn't know that Josh would. Josh has really shocked me. Not going to lie. Josh has really, really, really shocked me in the way that he talks to people, the way that he treats people, um, and the way that he treats his children. That's a big shock for me. Oh, no, he didn't. She featured your interview. Okay. I was going to go watch it and give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't see it, though. But anyways, you guys, catch them on TikTok if you really want to understand what I'm talking about and who they are. I did see on Reddit that their, her TikTok is being reported for scamming. People's commenting on there saying, oh, I reported her TikTok for scamming people. And one person said they did get a response from TikTok saying that they have limited, like, her abilities on TikTok. But I don't know what that means. I looked it up. Like, what happens if your TikTok account gets um, flagged or reported for scamming? And if it gets reported too many times, they will ban your account altogether. Um, so... I know that, like, if you report somebody for DMing you on TikTok and their DMs are really nasty, they will restrict them from having the ability to DM people, which is what happened with Josh. So Josh sent me a really nasty email, and I reported it. <laughs> and I got a message back from TikTok and was like, we banned this account's ability to DM people. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen, but okay. Um, because it was pretty nasty in it. And I was like, whatever, dude, whatever. Um, so I think her TikTok is still up and she's still uh, able to go live on it because on her Facebook account called the Sisters, Cl the Sisters Closet, she posted yesterday that she was going live, I think last night. So she still has her ability to go live from my understanding. But if she has reported too many times, she could be banned off TikTok. So she better be careful and she better be nice to people because that's when people start doing things like that is when you tick them off. And she's very mean. She picks on people. Her chat picks on people. Like literally, if you were like, oh my bad, my cash app's not working. Not only will she pick on you, but her chat will pick on you too, which is pretty disgusting that, that there's people out there that have no idea or that don't even care about somebody else's mental health that they don't know. Like, just because their cash app's not working, now you're going to bully this person? Like, how old are you? And are you teaching your child this? Because if you are, that's exactly what's wrong with the world. Like, Pumpkin and all her little mean girls in the chat that want to, like, well, what, like, there was, like, the one girl, Mel. She's like, hey, can you send me my $8 back? I forgot to add my info. Well, why would you even order if you don't want something? Oh, my God, it's so stupid. Like, really? And it really, the thing about it is, is she wasn't being stupid. The people that were saying that was the ones that were being kind of soup, stupid because they they didn't know what was going on. They didn't know that she wanted the item. She just forgot to send her all her info when she sent her money. So rather than sending an additional $8, she said, send me the $8 back and I'll send it back again with my info. But people didn't understand that. And like literally they attack people in the comment section. It's, it's not, a, I, I can't support it. I cannot support somebody that is so nasty to people for no reason. And then her chat, like she should be the one, when her chat is mean to somebody, she should be the one to say, hey, stop that. No, it's okay. It's okay if your cash app's not working. If you get it fixed, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, she actually encourages her audience to pick on people in the chat. So it's, it's really nasty. It's really ridiculous. And she's better hope that you know what I always think of how would she feel how would pumpkin feel if little Ella went to school and encountered somebody like her or her friends in the chat that are mean girls how would she feel if Ella come home and was like oh my god like I was trying to hang out with 
but a little little Melissa and little Peach. And um, they were picking on me because my, my shoes, they didn't like my shoes. And they said my hair was ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure she would be mad. But they are mean-spirited. Yeah, they are mean-spirited people and they are mean girls. And I'm sure she wouldn't like it if somebody treated her daughter the way she treats people online. So anyways, um, the name she calls people in her chat is so bad. It, it is. It really is. It's really nasty. So you guys, let me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.